You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. Vi the fly. Tell your mama I say a hi. That notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest content, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. So, Hollow Don has gotten that at Danny Myers about the round time. So, I've got a lot of questions. People have been asking so many questions about this charity battle between Hollow the Don and Danny Myers. Uh, first and foremost, obviously, they've announced. No pay-per-view, no YouTube. So the only way you're going to see it is if you're actually live in the building, in the venue. That's the only way you can eat off the menu is if you're in the venue. Okay, 10-2, you attend to, watch what I attend to, like K-Shine. But, um, so, Hollow the Don has basically asked Danny Myers, y'all bar god asked why he requested 230 rounds. That don't sound crazy for someone who calls himself the bar god. Basically saying, if you are the bar guy, the, the, the sayer of omnipotent rhymes, the ever, never ending flow that can rap forever and ever and ever, why is Danny Myers only asking for two minute and 30 second rounds? So, I hit up Danny Myers myself and asked him, I'm about to call the metaphor messiah. Don't duck me. Don't duck me, Danny. Do not duck me. Um, me and Danny have a very good rapport. Like I said, um, We've, we've had a very good relationship ever since his beginning until now. So I knew if I called him, I would get him on the line. And I wanted to ask him, yo, what is up with the two minute, 30 second rounds? Like, what is the reasoning? And obviously he, he explained why and what he has going on and how busy his schedule is. I did let him know that we really don't give a fuck about none of them. We really don't give a fuck about none of them other battles. We, we, we care about Hollow. I, told, I even told him they should cancel them shits. I, I did, sorry, it is what it is. I mean. Whatever, I mean, would how how much sleep was I really gonna lose if he didn't battle pass? It is what it is. You guys, I don't give I don't care. So what? So motherfucking what? But uh it is what it is. So we will see what happens. But anyway, check this interview me and Danny had out. Y'all niggas let me know what y'all think. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 bar guide. What up, though? What's poppin', honey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is, man. You know, you know. Um, we gotta get straight to it, man. Wait, straight to the info. Straight to the info. Straight to the info, bro. Let's go. Ah, straight to the info. We going straight to the info. Right, gang, 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 gang. Yo, check this out. So I see you battling Hollow. Everybody's talking. You know what I'm saying? Announcement came out. Uh, what I will say is this. Initially, I feel like, and everybody feels like it's your time, you should be getting this. This is the looks. These are the looks you should have been getting. But you know what, though? It's never too late to make it happen. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, said, yeah. I said that I felt like, you know, for a minute you wasn't getting the respect that you deserve. Now you're starting to get some of that respect. You got Hollow the Don coming up. A lot of people were talking about, you know what I'm saying, you they they got you they got you pretty even. You winning, him winning, whatever the case may be. But fuck all that. What's up with the two minute thirty second rounds, man? You trying to be on some grind time shit, some motherfucking sixty second what what's up, man? You want on sixty parking and shit? <laughs> nigga said grind time, yeah, well that that takes him back to his grind time days with his corny ass. But <clears throat> nice call back by the way, brother. But <clears throat> yeah, yeah. this what happened. This what happened. The niggas, like, the battle just came up out of the blue, first of all. He just hit me out the blue, like, yo, we're going to do a charity event, me and you, let's do it. And when he, when the date that he told me to battle, I had, like, three, four battles at, at that time. So I told him, you know what, dog? Yeah, I'm going to do it, because you don't get no battle with Hollow just every fucking day. Hollow don't come outside for everybody. So you don't say, you don't say no shit like, uh... Nah, this ain't the right time, bro. Like I'm, I'm kind of booked up. I'm, I, you know, I can't yeah. do it. Let's just, let's do it like six months money. from now. Then you're not you're getting get that call money. back. You're not getting that call back. So what I, so what I did, I said, I'll tell you what. Let's at least let's do two thirty three minute rounds. Let's, I'm not really trying to do no five six minutes because my workload is crazy. I got a battle this Thursday coming up with a big name that it's a secret battle nobody know about. Then I got passed two days right after that. Then I'm right back in the dungeon with, with Hollow. So I thought, oh, my workload is crazy. You don't got shit. You're not doing nothing. You don't, 
You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't just want to tell All you're you doing every you day know. is coming up with bars for me and stacking them motherfuckers. And and you don't got nothing else going on. Like I'm I'm working, nigga. I got three, four other battles prior to you, and I got another why battle. Like it starts at um two thirty. Why ain't drop them niggas? Why ain't drop them niggas, man? We want to see you versus Hollow, man. Why ain't drop them niggas? <laughs> nah, he said the same thing. He said nah, he said the same thing, man. But it was like I I already had made those commitments prior to me and Hollow. It ain't like I I was booked with Hollow. And then I took some other battles. Like I was already booked for those, and I don't, I don't duck no smoke. I don't back out. I don't do none of that shit. I take care of my business it's like not, a man. It's not, it's so not I told him two thirty. Furthermore, yeah, it, it's not a big deal. Like he's trying to make it look at all oh, this y'all bar guy. He's asking for two thirty. I'm like, yeah, nigga, cause you don't got shit going on. Put it like this: mm. If Hollow had the same amount of battles that I had, he wouldn't even took me. He can't come up with that many bars that fast. I still mm -hmm. took the battle. And it's still from the 30s, the nigga. I'm like, dog, you're not doing shit. You're chilling every day. Nigga, I'm writing and memorizing for a whole bunch of other niggas on top of having to get your shit together. So, yeah, nigga, we doing 230. Besides, uh, the shorter battles actually make for great battles. I don't know. Like, people be complaining, like, when the battle an hour long, the battle is 55 minutes. Niggas be like, yeah, I ain't watching that shit again. It's pretty like this. You. you know we gonna watch you in Hollow. We ain't gonna watch me in Hollow, but I don't know. Check, check it like this, though. Check it like this. If you can't get bars off in two thirty, then you're not good. You're not an MC. You can't. You niggas know me. Y'all know I'm out the gate. I'm two bars out the gate. I'm I'm haymaker. Out the gate every fucking battle. Y'all see, I get to the bars every battle. I'm right to it. It's uh, it's niggas like Hollow that need that extra build up. Build up filler, storytelling jokes. He's trying to build a whole angle. That's that, see that that two that two thirty don't really work for him, cause that's and that's why he's complaining. But I told him, you know what, bro? At the end of the day, I ain't never cut nobody off. Niggas see me battle. Niggas see me battle. Don't get on that bullshit. Don't get on that Rosenberg ball. Ready I never did it. Hey, Vada. Hey, but Vada, have you ever seen me cut a nigga off in my life? Never. Never. I, me and Bankhead agreed in three minutes. Bankhead's first round was 13 minutes from start to finish, bro, and I never cut him off. Me and B-Dot was three minutes. B-Dot's first round was like seven, eight minutes. I never cut him off. So even if we go in there, we agree. Even when I battle Chess, me and Chess agreed to 2.30. Chess still has six, eight, seven eight, minute rounds. <laughs> Yeah, we agreed. It was as yeah. I had a witness. I said, "Yo, hey, Chess, yo, bro, let's do two thirty. We ain't gotta we, let's, let's get in there, and get crazy, and get up out of there." My rounds were still two thirty, and I still beat the nigga. Chess came in there with six, seven, eight minutes. This the thing, man. Niggas be needing that extra time for the bar guy. I don't need that much time to beat these niggas ass. I'm beating niggas asses with the regular time limit. <laughs> Yo, check nah, check nah, the nah. files, my nigga. Check the fucking check the footage. I, niggas be making it debatable with me, but they had a whole other five minutes. Y'all need five more minutes to even compete with my two and three minutes. So mm -hmm. if I don't want, if he's scared, if you're scared of two thirty, my nigga, just say that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna cut him off. If he go five six, I'm gonna let him rock. I that that's what I just I just thought we needed some type of. Like, he he know what I'm going through. He like, yeah, bro, like, I know you got all the other battles. He laughing. He happy about that shit. That nigga like, yes. That nigga like, yes. <laughs> we don't want to see you versus the nigga. We don't want to see you versus Hollow, dog. Nah, me and Hollow going to be crazy, man. You know how hard I had to sell? You and Hollow, niggas didn't even want to hear me when I first started talking about that shit. Read my comments. They was like, bro, you wild. I don't want to see that shit. No, man. I called him out. If y'all go back to me versus John I and Hollow battle, uh, Hollow and Pat Stay was the main event. I said, tell Hollow the Don, you got to see me for that GOAT title. That was my last bar, my third round for uh, John I. Called him out back then. We was going back and forth over the net for years. Going back, throwing balls at each other, throwing balls at each other, back and forth. So now it's finally here, and we gonna settle this dope shit once and for all. Mm. So, so I don't even show him he cannot rap with me. 
if he want to go in there and joke and try that bar, whatever he does, I don't even know what he does. Like, <laughs> I don't know what he does, but whatever it is, that's your way. I'm going to beat the shit out of you, man. Man. Who went? Halloween? Put, put, put them icy chains on the line, nigga. Bet. <laughs> Bet your gold chains, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow Hollow says Hollow is his one of his slogans is TMB too many bars. And it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me because I don't see niggas talking about hollow bars, bro. Mm. Like he he got moments don't don't get it fucked up. I know who he is. I know he's unorthodox. But we when we talk about bars, we talk about Ram Nitty. We talk about Danny Myers. We talk about J C. Nobody bring up hollow name in a bar conversation. I don't know what barbershop y'all be at, but we don't mention hollow name nowhere when it comes to bars. Now, when you talk about overall battle rap skill, he one of the best there is. Overall, like him, Charlie Clips, just so niggas like, like that just got the whole, they got a multitude of things that they can do. Bars mm -hmm. is not one of hollow specialties. I'm sorry. I, but actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not mm. sorry. He don't, his bars ain't his thing, man. Mm. At least, at least in comparison to me, it's not a comparison, bro. It's not a comparison, not bro. Comparison. I say, I say mm. shit to no name niggas that Hollow ain't never even thought of. Mm. I do this bar oh. shit for real. Nah, we know that. I mean, I was just saying, the reason why I was asking about the time and shit, because you, uh, you battled disaster. And y'all had some long ass rounds. You know what I'm saying? Like your rounds was like six minutes. You I was dumping. So You know what it is? Tweet, when I seen them tweet that you asked for two thirties, I couldn't believe it. That's why I called you directly. I was like, nah, I'm not even gonna reply to the tweet. Let me let me call you and record it so we could put the interview out and I knew Oh yeah, I absolutely. I'm a real nigga. I don't lie about shit. I, I, I told him let's do two thirty. You know what I'm saying? Just because of my workload. other than that, I would have told him we could do on liberty. You feel me? Like if I didn't have, like if my schedule was clear, I would have told him let's just rap till we finish. But honestly, he still can do that. Like he still can rap till he's done. I I don't give a fuck. I don't be. I don't cut niggas off, man. When you cut a nigga off, it's it's basically like, it's like you you getting your ass kicked and you asking somebody to get a nigga up off you. You know what I'm saying? No, That's right. what it looked like. It, it, you know, and the thing is, here's a here's a double edged sword to that. It's like no winning with this time limit shit. There's really no winning. That's why I just try to put like a base number out there because niggas right. really don't adhere to the time limits. But if you don't say nothing, then a nigga would just go 15 minutes. So here's the thing: oh. if if one battler raps for 10 minutes and the other one raps for three minutes. They're going to say, well, dog, that's your fault. You should have cut that nigga off. I would have cut that nigga off at 3. I would have cut him off at 3.30, bro. You let the nigga go for 10 minutes, so that's your fault. But then, hey, look at this. When you do cut a nigga off, now everybody looking at you like you the bad guy. So it's like, you damn if you do, damn if you don't. So that nigga can rap to, to whenever he want, bro. Like, I I don't care, man. We're going to get it together. It's going to be a fight battle. I'm going to tell you the nigga. And that's just gonna be that. Moving on, kick his ass, and then tell uh, Iron Style men and Lux to turn their ass outside next. I'm oh, not okay. playing with these I, niggas. I, and ill will. I spoke, to, I spoke to I spoke to Iron Style men earlier too. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting you know that I'm very well connected, well respected. So I spoke to him earlier. Y'all can have that conversation. Don't get it twisted. Ain't nothing but a text away. Yeah, let him let him know the bar guy is outside, man. I'm looking for all these niggas. I duck no smoke. Niggas never know me to duck nobody. I call them all out. Laugh, Solomon, the Hollow, Lux. I call them all out. Why you ain't on the volume? I would have been on the volume. Huh? Certain opponent. Listen, I, I only would have took certain niggas in the volume right now at this stage, especially right after Hollow. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Right after Hollow, besides that, a nigga's just going to need a break anyway. But, oh, okay, yeah, because you just said your, load, your work load's crazy, yeah. Uh, uh, aside from that, though, but, but uh, it's, I got something crazy for Volume 6, man. I got something y'all been wanting to see, so that's what we finna do. Mm. I heard who you got you know? this week, too. You know I know who you got. 
Well, oh, absolutely. But, hey, when you, hey, when you, right, when you call me, I was about to start spinning you around. I spin the spit you in bars for that nigga. He's right. dead. Go ahead, go ahead, rap him right now, and I'll put him out. Chill, <laughs> <laughs> good show. I call you back. I call, I call you back for that. I call you back for that. We ain't gonna win. Yeah, I'm gonna get him up out of there too, man. Like you know him. I got him in pass. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, that's, that's cool, why, but, any, but honestly, that's why I said let's do 230. But really, I just put a base number out there, 230 with a three-minute max. You know what I'm saying? We don't need that much fucking rapping to get the point across. Mm, you know what? But I will say this, man. Um, I definitely knew that she would say what she was going to say. It's about not cutting him off, letting him rap. But you got a certain period of time that you're going to rap for. And I know you're going to bring bars all throughout it, and I know it's going to be a fire battle. But what I will say is I'm proud of you because throughout the face of adversity, when you, I like people like yourself, I like people like Saga, I like people like a lot of these folks that people turn their back on, probably because I was in y'all same boat at some time. So when I see y'all come back and right. see y'all do bigger things just like I have, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I like to promote that. And I like the underdog look, you know what I'm saying? I like where you went with it and how you turned your career around from somebody that people used to think of as an afterthought. Danny Meyer, too, will never be top tier. Danny Meyer, like, now I see that you're getting these looks, and I think it's important for you to capitalize, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. Absolutely, man. The, a game. the world will be watching. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, of course. no YouTube. Y'all going old school. Yeah, man, we got the old school feel to it. But y'all will see the battle. The whole world's going to see the battle. You know, we doing watch lives. Uh, Abo, we doing watch lives with the fans. Me and Hollow are going to sit down together and break down all the bars right next to each other and figure out who won the fucking battle. So who you, who you picking? How you going? You going 3-0? You going 2-1, Danny? How you going? I don't write. I don't. Listen, I write three rounds to win three rounds. I don't. I don't write a throwaway round. Like, oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let him get. I'm gonna let him get this first one. I'm gonna just go right in this first one just to see. You know, just to see where he at with it. But this second and third though, I'm gonna turn up. Like what? That ain't never been me. I'm out the gate you know, with the I drama. Did ours, we did ours last night, and um, I picked you. I picked you two one. Um, you know what I'm saying? I did pick you two one. Uh, you know how I feel. You know, I I I feel like that. Uh. He has a good cadence. He can freestyle. He can do a lot of the battle rap things when it comes to rap and actual rapping. I just feel like your pen is kind of, you know, untouchable. And hopefully that you focus up and lock in and get this thing done. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back at you later so I can hear the bars that you have or something else. And I want you to get back to your work. So we're going to cut this here. Oh, yeah, I'm in the mountains with it, man. Like, like, like I'm really, I'm literally in the mountains with this shit, man. Like, I'm in the mountains like this. Away from away yeah. from society, man. Just meditate, man. Yeah. And people like, don't know. Last thing people don't know is people don't know once you're done with all the around, you're gonna mess around and have a whole throwaway around for him anyway. That's why when people was telling me about you and Tom, I'm like, Danny throws away whole rounds at people. <laughs> right. <laughs> I come up with rounds for them fast. I don't know why niggas act like. Come on, man. I done spit dog. I done spit countless bars for niggas. And and these niggas be so scared they don't even respond. Thanks. That's a so it, it, I just salute Hollow for you know for saying all right, nigga, let's finally do it. And at the you end of the what? day, this shit is about giving back to the community. So we will be giving out toys and 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 clothes and food to South Central and Compton. So that's really what it's all about. Like the win or the loss, that's like a personal thing for me and Hollow. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to win so I can really just separate this goat thing. But uh, at the biggest, the biggest thing is just giving to the to the less fortunate. That's you know, mm. I can lose the battle and, and and go out and give these toys out to the kids, and it's a it's a win. Hollow can lose the battle and go out and get them toys out. He's gonna be salty, but <laughs> at the end of, at the end of the day, it's for the kids, man, and for the for the homeless and stuff. So. Hey, man, you know what? I, I I applaud you for doing that, you know what I'm saying? Because there's so much paper that could have been made, money, 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 money. But for y'all to do that, for charity is definitely a good thing. And that's the thing that no other league, no other league can afford to do a charity battle in this day and age. It would shut the league down. So, uh, Facts. Charity event, right. 
they're here on the streets. But um, I appreciate you giving me that information. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and get this one out, and I'll definitely be hitting you up, you know what I'm saying? And um, Yeah, hit me right. back. All right, my guy? All right. All right. You, man. Yeah.